Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing today? I know I'm late. I was supposed to be filming this video last Thursday and it was supposed to be posted on Friday but um, I was just caught up uh, with a few things at work. If you guys don't know, I am a product designer. I have a full-time job. Sometimes it's really hard to balance YouTube and your full-time job because there was just a lot going on at work a lot of drama so yeah I promise you guys I will be bringing you guys a lot of more content I have a few really interesting ideas for my next video so I hope you guys like it today we will be filming a very interesting video something that I have never done before and I really wanted to give this a shot and see if you guys like it or not so today we are filming a look that was inspired by Deepika's film fair interview. I'm not sure what was the name of the show. Let me get back to you. Yeah, it was called Famously Film Fair Season 2. She wore this beautiful red dress, uh, a sweater and midi skirt and it was all very monochromatic red look and I absolutely loved it. And she had these extremely bold red lips with very minimal eyes. The moment I saw that interview, the moment I saw her picture, I was like, I have to create this look. I'll post a picture of her makeup in this video so you guys can see what I'm talking about. I did some research and it turned out all the makeup products that she used are from Lakme which unfortunately we don't have it in Qatar but I'm sure like you can always find similar products to use because I feel the makeup look is so simple yet so powerful that it can be achieved through other products as well so if you guys are interested please keep on watching and before we get into the video please subscribe and like and comment down below I have been loving all your support each and every person who comments on this video thank you so much let's not waste any more time and let's get into the video today I want to start with my under eyes and for that I will be using my all-time favorite you guys know a Maybelline instant age rewind concealer this is in the shade 130 medium so I have already applied moisturizer I just used my CeraVe moisturizing cream so anyway I will be applying like a good amount because I feel like my dark circles have been really crazy I'm just gonna apply on the middle of my nose a little bit on the forehead and a little bit on the chin the reason why i'm covering my face is because i feel like with this look the foundation is gonna be super minimal i want it to look more like skin skin i don't want it to feel like i have put on makeup especially on the skin i just wanted to concentrate on the concealer more than the foundation So after the concealer, I will be taking my Laura Mercier um, Tinted Moisturizer in the shade 2C1 Blush. I absolutely love this product, love using it every day. I don't like using foundation for some reason. Especially ever since I tried this product, I never reach for uh, foundation. First, I'm gonna take a very light amount of it. I'm just gonna dot it where I don't have concealer. I'm not putting it uh, on my entire face. I'm just gonna rub it with my hands because I feel like that way you get the desired coverage otherwise since it's a very lightweight moisturizer the sponge usually soaks up all the product so I like working with my fingers for this product so once I'm done with my concealer and tinted moisturizer I just go in with my setting spray this is by charlotte tilbury in the shade uh, to medium and i'm using sephora 05 brush with this i'm just gonna take a light amount and i'm gonna start pressing it under the eyes you can use this powder for your entire face but i'm gonna focus it more on the under eyes because since my darkness is still peeking through so i'm just gonna try and make it more bright if possible and then i'm just gonna do the same on my smile lines because this is where i crease the most so i'm using my anastasia beverly hills brow viz uh, in the shade dark brown and i'm quickly gonna do my brows i usually don't do my brows unless and until i have like a wedding to attend or if i'm going to a fancy party but usually i really don't touch them uh, because the process is extremely painful and I absolutely hate it to be honest. I hate getting my brows done. Oh my god. Anyway, so 
so the brows are done they look pretty decent i'm happy with them since the brows are done i'm gonna start doing the eyes so for the eyes i noticed that she had like really simple minimalistic uh, eyes but i still feel that she had some color in the crease and then she had this white sheen on the lids and just some mascara that's it so i'm gonna try and achieve that so i'm just quickly gonna um, prime my eyes with soft ochre pro longwear paint pot by mac the reason why i'm using this is because i feel like i have some you know veins showing on the lids and um, i need to get rid of that darkness so i'm just gonna take a little bit not not too much and then i'm gonna try and put it on the lids so you see the difference like this eye and this eye i feel like this eye is much more it has a nice base to it but anyway i'm just gonna apply like a little amount of the paint pot and i'm gonna just get rid of the slight veins which are showing through and the darkness on the lids so now that we have a nice base i'm gonna go in directly with palette so the palette that i will be using is this one this one is rose in the air by wet and wild oh my god you guys this palette is so cute it is so affordable but yet it beats like so many high-end palettes that i have the packaging is a little cheap but of course like it's i think what six or seven dollars i'm not sure but look at the colors oh my god the colors are absolutely gorgeous so i will be going in with one transition shade that i will be putting in into my uh crease for that i'm gonna use my sigma tapered blending brush this is e40 so i'm gonna go in with this shade right here it's gonna take a little bit the fallout with this one is a little you know crazy i have to admit but i really don't mind honestly it's still gives me a good payoff so i'm just gonna lightly run it into the crease i'm not gonna go crazy with this shade because i know that she had like a really light wash of color in the crease and nothing else so i did end up getting a little bit of the other transition shade because i feel like this one is a little more warm and what she had was a little bit towards the cool tone side but uh, i think you can work them both together so um, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this shade, this one right here. It's a very nice champagne, white champagne gold. So I'm going to take this shade, the one that I showed you, and I'm just going to run it all over the lid. I feel like using fingers with these kind of shades is better because that way you can get most pigment out of the shade. It's best to apply these kind of shades with your finger so yeah that's it that's what i'm gonna keep the eyes to i want the focus to be more on the lips and the face so guys i ended up doing my liner and mascara off camera but you can see i went i just went in with my liner the brown one and i just tried to smudge it a little bit so this is what it looks like even though i feel like she had really light maybe i think she didn't have a liner but uh, i thought maybe it would be nice to just you know put a little bit of liner just smudge it to make it look more uh smoky slightly smoky and then you have this clean lid which would look absolutely nice so for the face i will be using my airbrush bronzer in the shade 2 medium by charlotte tilbury i'm gonna use really like a little amount of this just to define the face a little bit nothing too crazy because we already had very light uh, foundation we actually had just a moisturizer so i just don't want to go in too heavy with the bronzer you can even actually skip the bronzer if you want but i like putting some of it you know just to define my cheeks a bit for the blush i will be using my dark captivating blush it looks a little peachy in the pan and in the camera but it's not peachy it's mauve pink kind of shade but it's very pigmented so i will go with a very easy hand i don't want to go like super crazy just gonna do it in circular motion focusing on the outer cheeks a little bit so the blush is done this is how it looks like very light wash of color nothing too crazy 
so the last product for the face is highlighter and i will be using my all-time favorite mary luminizer uh, by the mom so as you can see this is absolutely favorite of mine i have ended up putting a dent i have used it honestly non-stop i will be taking my morphe um uh, what is this m510 uh highlighter brush and i'm just gonna highlight very very slightly the cheeks Ooh. i'm gonna take some on the nose some on the forehead wherever the light hits and on the chin this is what it looks like I absolutely love this highlighter oh my god all right so now is the fun part I will be using the only red lipstick I have no I have others but different shades of course uh, I will be using the my Mac Russian red lipstick I so wanted to try this in a tutorial and I thought this would be the best um, tutorial to try this lipstick out so the one that she's wearing is definitely by Lacme but I think this is very close to what she's wearing so I'm I'll be I will be using um, this one I only have the small version of it because I don't wear li red lipsticks at all I just only have this in case I feel like wearing red lipstick which is very often but um, thought I'd you know give it a try so I'll take this and apply it to my lips. So guys, this is the final look. This is how it looks like. I know that this is not exactly the same as hers because of course her products were slightly different than mine and her hairstyle and outfit was different than mine even the jewelry i don't have anything close to hers but um yeah you could literally wear anything but this kind of look point was to focus more on the lips and very neutral clean eyes and clean face so i think i was able to achieve that uh i would love if the lipstick was slightly darker but i'm sure it's the uh the light coming towards me and also you know some maybe camera might be different and you know the light is different in the video but it is pretty close to what actually her makeup looks like very minimal clean face with really bold lips i absolutely love it i think this would look absolutely perfect with any outfit like i said before you could definitely glam it up maybe add some glitter on this eyes not too much because the the lips are so bold you would like to keep the eyes a little minimal anyway if you guys like this video please leave a comment down below hit the like button and subscribe to my channel i would appreciate it so 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 much and uh, i hope you guys enjoyed today i will definitely be creating uh, more interesting content for you and let me know if you guys want to see anything else any specific requirements or suggestions you might have please leave a comment down below and let me know i will be answering all your comments and i will see you guys in my next video bye